Rizzo. Rizzo What up, world? It's your boy Wizard Wob back again, my man, with another quick heat check for you. Today we're just gonna get into another uh, another weekly sneaker lineup. So these have been fun for me, man. I, I really enjoy doing this, man. It's making me really think about what I'm gonna pull out, making sure I don't keep pulling out the same joints, and just have a little bit of fun with it, man. Like you know, uh, I am of the people who actually wear their kicks so if you wear your kicks out there man please leave a comment let me know how you like this lineup uh if you're new to the page make sure you subscribe make sure you smash that thumbs up button let's go all right so sunday so if you if you watched last week's sneaker lineup you know he was coming off of a crazy week uh air max week for the wop um uh, and so kind of ending that off on Sunday, or starting off the new week, we were still kind of in that mode. So Sunday, we did pull out. We didn't really do too much. We kind of chilled around the house. Pulled out the uh, What the Pendy Air Max 1. Um, this was a shoe that was actually gifted to me uh, from someone someone off YouTube, man. They said they liked what I was doing, dog, and they wanted to send me something. Uh, so we actually did a review on these. It says this is Nike ID, uh, circa 2016. It was a Pendleton collab, so uh, we got a couple Nike Bayou Pendletons laying around here. So this was an early version of 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 this. You know, this is the latest Pendleton collab that that Nike Bayou gave us. I did Air Force Ones, but this person. Um, did this now I don't know if this was like a general release again it does have a Nike ID tag in there but I saw another person with a pair and they look real similar so I don't know maybe if they just also ordered from Nike by you or Nike ID at the time but we definitely did pull these out Sunday crazy pair uh, they're kind of dirty but crazy pair for sure um, again you see that Nike ID I don't know if you can see that but yeah this is a crazy pair Sunday boom and so so monday um monday it was an mj monday to say the least so so on monday boom we did pull out the white and laser orange uh women's air jordan 3 this is a women's shoe um again white and laser orange but we all know this is a poor man's pe this is white and yellow this is a kobe a poor man's kobe pe if you ask me, it did come out um, right around the time of, this came out, I believe, like on my grandma's birthday, Kobe's birthday, right, right, right around that time, because um, I know that next Monday was like 8-24 or something like that, and so I think these came out around the 22nd, 23rd of 2020. But a good shoot, man. Um, one of my favorite threes. I did a lot of driving for this. I drove like a lot of a lot of ways for this. Picked up like maybe three, four pair. I think I had like four or five pair of these actually. And I, I some I wish I would have probably sat. I just show love, you know what I mean. But great shoe, um, great quality, great colors, and you know we got the news that Nike and uh, the Kobe. Uh, Brian, his uh, estate, Vanessa Bryant, they are going to continue the partnership with Nike. So I thought this would be a good one to pull out on Monday. Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, I was like, yo, it's time. I said, yo, it's time. This is one of my favorite shoes of all time. This is the Playoff 12. We did just get these in not too long ago. These released not too long ago. And I just said, it's time, you know. Um... I wanted to pull these out. Pull these out on Tuesday. Nice little short set, you know. I had a little fit waiting for it. And, um, yeah. This is special to me. Um, I've had this shoe before in the past. But just a super clean, 
kind of a simple shoe when we first saw images of it. Um, a lot of people didn't know what to think of like the, the white and black pair when we first saw images of it, kind of the flip version of this or kind of like that. I don't know if you saw that, but just uh, beautifully crafted, I think. Uh, good leather. And again, such a simple kind of shoe, but oh, such a flex, though. Such a flex, especially at the time, especially now. Timeless shoe. That was uh, Wednesday, right? That was Tuesday. That was Tuesday. Um, Wednesday. Um, again, man, I, I feel like I got to put the pressure on myself. Wednesday, we did come with the, uh, what's this, uh, 8, eight of 50? The Nike and Off-White Dunk Low. Um, this is the Wizard. Wizard on that shoe. Wop on that shoe. You know, we got busy. Uh, but yeah, this is 8 of 50. Um, I got a couple of lots. I was lucky enough to kind of start. I, some told me, like, yo, just grab, just start grabbing them. Um, and I grabbed a couple pair before... Um, the untimely death of Virgil, and uh, of course prices shot up. But again, I was I, I I'm glad to say that I was in on this before that. I didn't do it for that. A lot of people did it for that. Like, well, let me grab him now because he, you know, he gone. The prices, whatever. But this is just something I wanted for the toe. I was just grabbing. Like, let me grab him as many as I can. I had plans on grabbing some more. I might still try to if the prices are right. But you know, prices went crazy. Good shoe though, always a head turner. Um, yeah, this is a uh, dunk low. Um, always fun, always fun, always fun. So that's what it's all about, man. And and so what happens is, after we hear about him passing, so I had him on ice actually, and then after we hear about him passing, I said, you know what? Let me get the sharpie out. Um, and so I, I went to I went Sharpie with it, and I said I'm never gonna let go of him. So let me just go Sharpie with it, like he like how he would want, and that's what he did. <clears throat> uh, it was Wednesday, Hump Day. So now we over to Hump. Thursday, I said, man, uh, I kind of had a pink hat I wanted to wear. I ain't gonna lie, I had a pink hat I wanted to wear. So I just, I just all essentials, boom, essential bottoms, essential boom tee, black hoodie, pink hat. And I pulled out uh, the Nike Dunk Low Free 99. Nike Dunk Low Free 99. This is the one. Did I get this is the one? This is the one I got this one in Costa Rica. So I actually did get this one when I went uh, on a trip to Costa Rica. Shout out. Uh, shout out my family, though. Shoe Lab. Shout out Shoe Lab. Shout out Shoe Lab Costa Rica. Um, so this was fun, you know, this was fun, always fun to wear, uh, and again, I kind of like to play off of the pink, but you can play off of so many different colors, um, you know, you gotta love a shoe with contrasting colors, or, you know, where it's kind of a little bit different on one shoe than it is on the other shoe, um, shout out to that 40th anniversary Nike by you, we do have a pair coming with asymmetric Night check, so wait for that. But yeah, free 99 dunk on Thursday. Boom, now Friday. Friday, I was kind of chilling. Oh, I was kind of chilling. Uh, works from home on Friday. I am lucky enough to have a home office and sometimes the benefit of working from home. Um, and so Friday, I just kind of was lounging around the house, but it was still an MJ Friday. And we did pull out the... Air Jordan 9. Uh, the, what, I don't know if they was calling this the University Blue or the Carolina. I believe it was Columbia, if I'm not mistaken. The Columbia 9. Uh, oh, shoot. And so uh, uh, one of the homies, shout out High Beast KC. Shout out Chris Thomas. Uh, one of the homies, we was talking on... Um, they were doing a live or someone that was on there for an event that was coming up. Um, and we were talking about, like, older shoes and whatnot. Like, yo, you got to wear them, dog. Just put them on. Wear them around the house, maybe, or something. 
if you, you just just wear them so that they get that so when you do want to wear them they don't fall apart and so what happens is you know shoes like this you got to put them on and just go to the store go out walk the dog or walk around the house um, when you start getting into the age this is a shoe from 2010 so it's this is a 12 year old shoe um you gotta wear this stuff man you can't just have it sitting up we were actually talking about i can't pull it out but um yeah so just wore it around the house didn't really do too much wasn't really kind of putting no real stress or no wasn't playing basketball or nothing but just wore it around the house friday boom and then to finish off the week saturday man um Saturday, we did pull out another Air Jordan. This is the Air Jordan 5 Anthracite. Um, again, didn't really do too much, man. Just kind of lazy lounge. And we did a little quick little barbecue. Just a two-person barbecue. It was fire, but... Pulled out Air Jordan 5 Anthracite. Um, I think a very slept-on model. Not model, but a slept-on version of this model. Um, what they did is they flipped the 3M, so instead of you getting that, that classic 3M on the tongue, which I do love about an Air Jordan 5, I think they still should have gave us that, but they give us 3M down here on the uh, tongue, paw, 3M here, 3M on the netting, 3M on, yeah, I think that was it, but yeah, a good looking shoe, different color shades. Gotta love a uh, kind of a triple black feel. Air Jordan 5 Anthracite. That was Friday. It was Saturday. So that was my week in sneakers, man. Dog, let me know what you think about uh, that lineup, man. Let me know what you think about last week's lineup. More videos coming soon, man. A couple more pair of 40th anniversaries on the way. Uh, and we just having fun, man. Appreciate you stopping in. Please like, comment subscribe it's your boy wiggle i'm out